Hi learners, I am Teacher Will and welcome to our general mathematics subject. For this week's videos, we will learn about rational functions. Let's start! Ayan, I'm crying guys. Hindi pala na-record yung boses ko. Ito, nakamute siya. Isa sa gita. Anyway, let's start this um, lesson by having the conversation of the barangay captain and his kagawads. Ayan, so one day in the barangay hall, to our honorable counselors, one of the problems that we are facing is how to provide relief goods to our kabarangay. Kagawits confirmed that Mr. Martin will donate 35000 Mr. Velardo made a pledge of 60000 And the barangay has a budget amounting to 347000 And they have approximately 850 families. Now, the total for the budget is uh, 442000 And then it will be divided equally to 8000 850 families. So, how much will be budget per family for the relief goods? And, and according to the Kagawad, each family will receive goods that cost 520 pesos. We can, they can buy rice, canned goods, chicken, and hygiene kit. But that budget is only good for one week, so they must find other resources. So the barangay captain um, asked that they should encourage their barangays who have the capacity to help. Pero naisip na isang kagawad na approximate lang yung bilang ng families na kailangan nila din i-consider yung mga nag-transfer ng residency at lahat ng na-stranded dun sa kanilang barangay. So they decided na mag um, conduct ng actual survey para malaman nila yung actual number of families residing under barangay. And kung i-analyze nyo yung problem, makikita natin na to represent yung amount allotted per family, kailangan lang natin kunin yung total budget ng barangay uh, kasama yung mga pledge o yung mga sponsors pang amount then divided by the number of families. Ngayon, hindi natin alam kung ilan nga po ba yung actual na number of families. So, let's use X to describe or to represent yung number of families residing on their barangay. To model yung amount o yung amount allotted per family, kailangan lang natin i-divide yung total amount o total budget ng barangay which is 442,000 sa ating number of families which is X. Ito na yung ating function of amount allotted per family in terms of X which is the number of families residing on their barangay. Itong function na to is an example of a rational function. Para mas maintindihan natin, let's define what a rational function is. Ayan. So, a rational function, r of x, let's say r of x, is a function of the form p of x over q of x. Where yung p of x and q x Q of x natin are polynomial function and the Q of x must not equal to 0. Yan, o hindi po siya 0 function. And the domain of R of x will be the set of real numbers such that Q of x is not 0. Yan. Tingnan po natin tong mga examples na ito. We have here R of x is equal to x cubed minus 1 over x plus 1 where in yung ating x must not equal to negative 1. Ayan, sabi nga natin kanina, ang q of x must not equal to 0. At kapag yung 
x natin ay naging negative 1, magiging 0 yung q of x natin kasi negative 1 plus 1 is 0. So, hindi po kasama ang negative 1 sa domain ng ating function. Ayan. So, next naman po is 1 over x na kung saan ang x natin must not equal to 0. Kasi nga, again, ang q of x is not equal to 0. Po. So, yan yung mga example some of example ng ating rational function. Yan, mag-explore pa tayo ng mga situation that can be modeled using rational function. Let's have example number one. The local government unit allotted a budget of 100,000 pesos for the feeding program in the daycare center. The amount will be divided equally to all the pupils in the daycare center. Write an equation showing the relationship of the allotted amount per pupil represented by f of x versus the total number of children represented by x. Yeah, so, katulad lang ng example natin to kanina na we are talking about the allotted um, budget per um, family dito naman per pupil. To get that, kailangan lang natin i-divide yung ating um, total budget from the number of pupils enrolled doon sa ating daycare center. So, yung total budget natin is 100,000 pesos. And, hindi natin alam kung ilan yung number of pupils but it can be represented by x. Kaya, over x. So, ito na po yung ating function showing the relationship of the allotted amount per pupil in terms of the total number of children in the daycare center. Okay? Ayan, so halimbawa, yung number of children natin ay 10. So, yung allotted amount per child is 100, ay 10,000. Kung 25,000, 50, 22,000. Kung 100, 1,000, and 200, 500 pesos per pupil. So, ganun lang po yan. Proceed tayo sa example number 2. Sa example number 2 natin, modify lang natin yung situation dun sa example number 1 na kung saan merong uh, benefactor na gusto mag-supplement ng budget allotted for each child by donating additional 650 pesos per child. If h of x represents the new amount allotted per child, construct a function representing the relationship. Okay. Since meron naman na tayong computed na allotted budget ng LGU per pupil, mag add na lang tayo ng 650 doon. So, mangyayari, 100,000 divided by x, again, yung x po natin, yung number of child, plus, mag add na lang po tayo ng 650 pesos. So, ito na po yung h of x natin that represents yung new amount allotted per child. Okay? Yan. Kung titignan nyo nyo dito sa table na to, yung allotted amount kanina sa example number 1, mag add lang tayo ng 650. Let's proceed sa ating example number 3. Yan. So, a car is to travel a distance of 70 kilometers. Let's express the velocity v as a function of travel time t in hours. Yan. Kung maaalala nyo po yung formula ng velocity sa ating science, that is distance over time. Ngayon, sa problem na to, we have a given situation na na yung distance po is 70 kilometers. So, ibig sabihin, ang velocity in terms of time natin is 70 over t. Ngayon, t is the time traveled in hours. So, ito na po yung ating function, velocity. Ayan. So, aside from rational function, pag-uusapan din natin yung rational equation at rational inequalities. Pero ano nga ba yung pinagkaiba-iba nitong tatlong ito? Remember, na kapag sinabi nating function, there is a relationship between your um, range and domain or x and y. Pag equation naman, it is a mathematical statement state, um, showing an equality. So, yung symbol natin dito is equal sign. Sa inequality naman, it is a statement that shows inequality. So, yung mga symbols natin dyan involves yung less than, yung greater than, 
not equal, less than or equal, or greater than or equal. At kapag itong mga ito involves rational expression, ito na po ay tinatawag na nating rational equation, rational inequality, at rational function. Kung maaalala ninyo kapag sinabi nating rational expression, ito yung mga expression that um, shows ratio or fraction. Yan. So, ito yung mga example niya. Rational expression, we have here x plus 4 over x minus 1 is equal to 1 fifth. Yeah, they involve expression that has um, equality symbol. So, equation siya. Well, yung sa inequality naman, yan, nakikita nyo agad na merong inequality symbol. And of course, it involves um, rational expression. Ayan, x minus 2 over 5. So, ito po ay rational inequality. At ganun din sa rational function. Ayan, nakikita nyo there is a relationship between our x and y. So, automatic dapat alam nyo ng rational function yan. So, Ayan, um, equal symbol din yung kanya kasama. So, equation din siya actually. Pero between y and x. Kaya, function po siya. Siyempre, let's have more examples of this uh, rational equation, inequalities, and function. Alright, so let's determine whether the given is a rational function, a rational equation, and a rational inequality or none of this. Okay, una po, 2x plus 1 over x minus 1 is equal to 8. So, kung titignan nyo po, it involves rational expression and meron tayong equal sign. So, automatic, dapat alam nyo na po na ito ay rational equation. And so, bakit po hindi siya rational function? Kasi wala naman pong relationship between y and x. Wala naman po tayong one dyan. So, dapat alam nyo na agad na ito po ay rational equation. Another, x plus 5 over x minus 1 is equal to y. Ayan, meron na po tayo y at x. Dahil may y at x na tayo, dapat automatic alam nyo na po na ito ay rational function. That is a rational function. Merong equal sign. Okay, next. So, we have square root of 2 over x plus 1 less than or equal to 3. And kung makikita nyo, rational inequality po siya. Pero, kasi itong square root of 2 is a radical expression. Hindi po siya rational expression. So, therefore, hindi po siya any sa tatlong yun. So, none of this. So, tingnan nyo po ha, pa rin po um, it involves rational expression. Kasi kapag Ayan, may mga square root o yung kanyang mga pag in sulat natin to in other way, we have 2 raised to 1 half. Ayan, hindi po ito, hindi po siya rational expression. This is a radical expression. Okay? Next. Ayan. 2x is greater than or equal to 7 over x plus 4. Ayan. And meron po tayong rational expression at ang kanyang symbol is greater than or equal or that is an equality sign. So, ibig sabihin, ito po ay rational inequality. Okay. okay. And isa pa. We have g of x is equal to 7x cubed minus 4 squared of x plus 1 over x squared plus 3. Ayan, kung agad-agad makikita nyo naman po, hindi na po siya rational expression. Meron kasing radical sign. So, that is a radical expression. Automatic, dapat alam nyo na po na hindi po to any sa tatlo nyo. So, none of this po. None of this. Though, makikita nyo pa, function po yata. Ito kasi may g of x eh. Hindi po. Kasi meron tayong square root of x. So, none of this. Ayan, so, ganun lang naman po siya. Ayan, so, ganun lang naman po. Tandaan ninyo, ang rational function can also be used to model some real-life situations. Ayan, so, katulad po nitong activity ninyo na kung saan itong school-school situation, i-represent nyo siya using rational function. So, may guide na po tayo dyan kung paano nyo po siya mamamodel. And, ganun din po na magkakaiba po yung rational function, rational equation, at rational inequality. 
So, tingnan nyo po dito sa activity ninyo kung saan dito yung rational function, equation, and equality o kung meron po bang wala sa halina. Okay? Ayan. So, that will be all for our video lesson for today. See you on our next video. Bye!